Welcome back to Planting Alabama. Today is going to be a quick little tour showing you some of the things I've got growing on. Here guys you're looking at the last of my cabbages. There's probably three or four of them here left. Uh, they're on the final stretch so I'll be taking these out here pretty shortly. Right here these are my tomato plants. I've got the beefsteak and the purple Russian. Never tried the purple Russian. That'll be interesting to try. And so you see I've got my steak here. I grow them up two to a steak and just attach them to, with some twine to the steak as they grow up. Not sure how tall the uh, purple Russian will get, but the steak will be here anyway. Here in this uh, small raised bed I've got my onions it looks like a jumble mess but trust me they're starting to grow at this point now guys they're getting ready to uh, start bulbing up so I'm looking forward to that on this end guys some volunteer potato plants not sure what variety don't know how they got there but we'll let them grow this raised bed here and the one beside it These are my sweet potatoes. Over here in this bed, these are all Beauregard. And these are the purple sweet potatoes and the yams. Sweet potato yams. On the end here, guys, I had some room left and I threw in uh, a few uh, bell pepper plants. Here guys, I've got my potatoes growing. One, two, three rows of potatoes. The red norlings and the German butterball. Now, that's an interesting story on the German butterball, but I won't go into it right now. I'll put it uh, in the description. Here guys, I've got more sweet potato slips that I planted in the ground. I've got some... Uh, beans and peas I planted in my corn and purple hull peas on this end I don't know if you can really see them and they just starting to sprout up inside this netted cage here I got I have my blackberry all of my berry plants are in here and as you can see the uh, blackberries are starting to bloom out down here in this container, I've got, yep, blueberries. And so, everything in there is uh, caged up. In this side bed here beside my storage room, these are all purple hull peas. This bed, guys, I've got it divided in half. I'm growing uh, turnips. These turnips are not your standard red and white globe. These are yellow and uh, white globe. Should be a little bit more milder. Uh, probably another three weeks on these. They'll be ready to come out. Next to them down here on the end, I've got Morris heading uh, collard greens. And these guys, I love them. These are pretty good plants they get to be about two feet maybe two and a half tall and uh, the leaves on them are really really huge so if you haven't grown these try them try them out guys this bed should have been acorn squash but as you can see guys I'm really not sure what I'll get from these these seeds were saved last year from acorn squash apparently they cross-pollinated and <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see what i have this uh acorn squash and straight neck or crook neck yellow squash that they cross-pollinated with so we'll see what we get guys here in the north side bed i've got more 
peas, as you can see, starting to sprout up. Right there in the center, guys, I had an extra melon plant, and there she is. So, we'll just let her grow wild right here in the back. And finally, our experiment in the two containers. <clears throat> We're expecting rain today. I'm going to go ahead and move these into a dry location. I don't want this soil to get wet. Uh, and I'll be harvesting these within about a week. I'm, uh, we're wanting new potatoes out of this. And uh, we'll see what we get out of these. Guys, if you like this video, please share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, God bless.